Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I make new videos every other week. And if you haven't already, be sure you subscribe and turn on my bell notifications so you don't miss a thing. So this week is gonna be completely different from any other video I've done so far, and I am really excited about it. This is a video for my future self, more specifically my 25-year-old self. I was inspired to do this because I saw Dodie Clark do this video a while back. She made a video when she had just turned 20 and then reacted to it when she turned 25, and then she just made one for her 30-year-old self to watch when she turns 30. And I thought, hey, I'm 20 for the next month or so but I am still 20 nonetheless. I really wanna make this video as a little time capsule of like my life right now because things have been crazy, especially the last few years. And it is just such a wild time to be alive. And I can't even imagine all the things that are gonna happen by the time I am 25. And I don't know, I've always wanted to do something like this. And if you wanna see Dodie's videos, I will have them all linked down below. I'll be honest, I have no clue who made this video idea originally, but if you know, please leave a comment mentioning their name or their channel so I can give them proper credit because this is such a cool idea. They definitely deserve recognition recognition for it. So yeah, let's get right into it. The current date I'm filming this is July 8th, 2021. I'm 20 years old. I currently live with my mom, my sister, my two dogs, Lexi and Layla. How are they, by the way? I hope they're doing well. How are you doing? Are you happy? What is your life like right now? For me, I've been posting on YouTube for a little over a year now. I honestly love it so much. I feel like I'm able to channel this new sense of creativity and it gives me purpose and an outlet to like express myself. And the fact that I'm able to like help other people in the process is just amazing to me. I really am just so glad that I started doing this. Do you still post on YouTube? If so, what's YouTube like in 2025? I currently have 383 subscribers and 60 videos posted on my channel. The video I have with the most views is my ADHD study tips video, and that is currently sitting at 8,018 views. The video with the least amount of views is a June favorites video I did back in 2020, and it has eight views. Oh, by the way, this is your phone right now. Um, it is an iPhone 5SE, I think. This is my lock screen, and this is my home screen. It's two incredibly derpy pictures of my dogs, but they're so cute. What kind of phone do you have right now? What's your screensaver? Since we are the same person, I know you're dying to know what kind of music I'm listening to right now. At the moment, I've been loving Leanna Firestone's music. I'm just like obsessed with the way she can tell stories through her songs and the way she's able to portray emotions and feelings. Oh, it's just so good. I kind of don't have a certain genre I'm super attached to at the moment. It's kind of a mix of like indie, punk. I've been listening to a lot of singer-songwriters like Lizzie McAlpine, Delaney Bailey, Leith Ross, Dodie Clark. They're all absolutely amazing artists and I really have been enjoying their music. What is your current favorite music genre or style of music that you're into right now? Ooh, you know what? I just listened to Olivia Rodrigo's Sour album. It is so good. I've also been listening a lot to the Japanese house, Conan Gray, Troy Sivan, Lanny, Bad Sons. Like, I call them my classics because I have listened to them for years and years and years and I don't think I will ever stop. They're just my go-to artists for good music. Do you have a current favorite song as of right now? I don't know if I have a favorite, favorite song as of right now, but the one I listen to the most according to Spotify is Hide by Leanna Firestone. Have you been to a live concert yet? If you have, who did you go see? Did you have fun? What was it like? This is what our hair and makeup looks like right now. I have a little cat eye with some orangey pink eyeshadow and a little like pink liquid glitter eyeshadow. I have some brown and purple on the bottom lashes. All of it is from e.l.f. because what else would I use? Since I cut my hair last, the bottoms have gone curly, but I usually keep it in a braid so it's pretty curly anyway. The side bangs, I'm not gonna lie, they're not my favorite. I kind of I miss the curly bangs from high school years, but I am way too lazy to do the upkeep on them. So side bangs it is. Oh my God, let's talk about what's going on in the world. It's still pandemic times, kind of. At the beginning of last year, I actually lost both of my jobs to the pandemic, which was really hard to deal with because I think I'm pretty much a workaholic and I was really struggling with having free time as I'd never really had free time before. But I think that break for me was important to finally realize that I need to be taking care of myself better mentally and physically. It's something that I still have trouble with and I'm still working on and I'm hoping by the time you're seeing this you're finally reaping the benefits to the hard work I'm putting in now. Because let me tell you, it's not easy but it is important and I hope things are better for you now. I actually did end up going back to work about a month ago. It was super scary at first but I also feel comforted by the fact that like both me and my family are vaccinated. The current case rate in Michigan right now is 137 new people diagnosed every single day, which isn't great but it is so much better than it has been. I remember back in April the case rate per day was about 10,000 people, but I'm so glad that people are finally starting to come together, take this seriously, and are working to get this under control. I really hope that's not going on still when you're seeing this. On to something a little bit more happy. How is music going? Have you ever released any of your own music? Did you ever get the chance to perform again? I haven't been working on music a lot 
lot recently. If I'm honest, I've kind of been going through it recently. I have so many hours at work that I really don't have a lot of free time, but I am hoping to pick that up again once I get a little bit more free time and I'm feeling a little bit more like myself. I know recently my mom and I have been talking about getting our ears pierced together. Well, I want my second piercing, she wants her first. I'm just wondering, did that ever happen or did she chicken out? How many piercings do you have right now? Do you have any tattoos? That would be so interesting if you did. Ooh, what is your favorite food as of right now? My favorite food, or I guess it's like a snack, is like the Doritos spicy sweet chili chips. I love spicy food, but I think my favorite food ever, if I were to choose one thing to only eat for the rest of my life, it would be dark chocolate cake. Are you still vegan? I hope so. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't be, but I just thought to ask. What's your favorite drink? My main one is water. I love water, but I'll be honest, that's boring. So for like a fun drink, I would say plain black iced coffee. I use like three scoops of the decaf brew from Kroger and then maybe like two or three of like a fun coffee, like one with actual caffeine in it. This is the one I'm currently using. What kind of hot sauce are you currently using? I'll go get mine and on the count of three, we'll hold it up. Are you ready? Okay, three, two, one. Frank's Red Hot. If it's the same one, this is your sign to go out and try more hot sauces because you are way too predictable. Also, because I know how predictable you are, I know you probably haven't had enough water today. So get up right now, go drink a full glass of water. So what's life like in 2025? Are there robots yet? I'm a little scared of them, so I kind of hope not. And if they do exist and somehow gain autonomy and emotions, hey, please don't kill us or rebel because that would be really scary. Anyway, what is the most eventful thing that has happened in 2025? I think for 2021, it will be the fact that vaccines were finally made available to the public. Also, the case numbers have gone down drastically. It's been such a crazy thing to live through. They also just announced this vaccine lottery, which I can't believe is real life. It's like something if you got a vaccine between like January and June, you get to like put your name in and they might draw it for money. It literally sounds like something out of a weird futuristic movie, but no, it's real. This whole pandemic has been so scary and strange to live through, but I definitely think it's given me different perspectives on life and it's definitely taught me a lot about myself and how the world works and I'm grateful I've gotten the opportunity to help work on myself as well. What is your favorite pastime? I think my favorite thing to do as of right now is play my baritone ukulele. I really love making little songs based on how I think people, situations, even the weather can sound to me. I've also been drawing a lot recently. I guess I can add that to the list. Do you still draw? What's your favorite thing that you've drawn recently if you still do? I draw the My Hero characters just an embarrassing amount like it is a majority of what I draw. I'll show you some. They're not great but it is what I drew. It it is inside of my journal, so I am covering some of it. There is one. We have a little Deku. There's Denki. This is my friend Kylie drawn in the style of My Hero Academia. Again, my drawing is not the best, but it is what I have for right now. What shows are you currently watching? For me, I'm currently watching The Bachelorette with my mom. I just finished Big Sky. I'm watching season five of My Hero Academia, Transplant, Nurses. Sometimes I'll go back and watch old episodes of House because it is so iconic. I just love medical dramas, if you couldn't tell. Have there been any new forms of social media? Right now, everyone's obsessed with TikTok. I love TikTok. I think it's peak humor to me. I always worry that the same thing that happened to Vine is gonna happen to TikTok, so I hope that doesn't happen, but if it does, I hope that the memes and compilations were worth it. Did you ever decide to go back to school? If so, what did you go back for? Have you gotten to travel anywhere fun? The only places I've been to so far in my life have been Florida and Chicago, so I hope you're able to go out and see a little bit more of the world. Did you do the things you wanted to do? Are you being true to yourself and living life to the fullest? What are some goals you have for the future? The goals I currently have right now kind of all center around self-care and self love and I think this last year has given me a lot of new perspectives on that and it definitely has helped me practice how to take better care of myself and also to help take my health and general well-being a little bit more seriously. What kind of car do you drive? I don't currently have a license as of right now so I hope we learn and we have a cool car by the time you're seeing this. I feel like, you know what, I feel like we're probably gonna get an SUV or a minivan. We would have that kind of car. Do you still keep a bullet journal? This is what mine looks like right now. My good friend Sarah gifted this one to me and I use it every single day. That reminds me how are our friends doing? What have they been up to? I hope they're all doing amazing because I miss everyone a lot. I haven't seen any of my friends in so, so long. I really hope that when it's safe, you're seeing them a lot more and appreciating the time you have with them and not taking it for granted. Have you fallen in love yet? Have you had your heart broken? God, I hope we're not married yet. You better really love them because five years. It's crazy to think about how many things five years can change. What is the most important thing you've learned in the last five years? You're probably gonna get so tired of me saying this, but I feel like the power of self-care has been something that I really overlooked for so much of my life that finally taking it seriously has felt really good. And I feel like it's a skill that I hope to carry throughout the rest of my life. What about the least important thing you've learned in the last five years? I think mine would have to be knowing where all 50 states are. I don't know what I'm gonna use that for or why I needed to learn it, but I know where they all 
DSLR for some reason. And finally, I know I'm putting you on the spot, but what are five things that you love most about yourself right now? For me, I feel like that's my weird sense of humor, my heart, my work ethic, my eyes, and my freckles. I hope that you're happy and I hope that you're in a good place right now. I hope the world has collectively made strides towards peace, equality, and acceptance. And I hope that the world has become an easier place to live in for everybody. I also hope that you're working hard, you're taking care of yourself, and that you're doing all right. I'll see you in five years. As for all of you guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you want to join in on this, please feel free to leave a comment for your future self and come back in five years and respond back to it. If you want to stick around and see more of my videos, please be sure you subscribe and turn on my bell notifications so you don't miss a thing. Stay safe, stay healthy, make good choices, and I will see you guys soon. Bye loves.